friends and family of any and all age groups. I'm Teacher Gabby, as most of you know. I'm going to be leading you through some warm-ups and some stretches on the floor. And this is for anybody. Anybody can do these and anyone can stretch with us. Doesn't matter how old or how young, all the way from baby baby to 99 years old. So. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a butterfly stretch. A butterfly stretch is the bottoms of our feet closed together and our legs in what look like butterfly wings. And for my classes who know this one, we like to stretch for about the count of six. So we flap our butterfly wings just to open up our hip flexors here. And then we sit up nice and tall and we bring our nose all the way down to our toes and we stretch with a flat back all the way down and we count to the number six. We count one, two, three, four, five, six. And we sit up nice and tall and we flap those butterfly wings again. Again, moving up and down with those knees and those toes and heels together in a closed position. And at this time, I like to ask my friends what color butterfly wings they have. And it can range anywhere from a bunch of stickers to some solid colors and rainbow and glitter. So make sure you ask your kids what kind of colored butterfly wings they have and if they like to have a lot of colors or if they like to have a little bit of color. And everybody sit up one more time, nice and tall, super tall, nose all the way down to our toes once again, counting to the number six, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, and then sitting up nice and tall. Now we're gonna bring our legs all the way straight out in front of us, and we're going to bring those toes, we're gonna to point them. That's where your toes, you're extending your legs all the way through, and you're pointing your toes all the way down. Then you're gonna stretch your toes, you're going to flex them, and sometimes some of our friends can reach for them. You're gonna point them again just to warm up those ankles and the metatarsals in your feet and flex them again nice and straight. Those legs stay straight and those toes point up to the ceiling. And here we go, we're gonna point our toes. We're gonna to reach up, up, up as tall as we can and we're gonna to try to touch our toes all the way down the front. I like to count to the number seven for these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I sit up nice and tall and we get our feet nice and flexed and we reach up again and this time we count for the number eight. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we release. We're gonna bring one leg out and one leg in, almost like that butterfly position with this leg here. And this other leg is out straight to the side. And sometimes we rock it back and forth to get the hip all nice and toasty. And we also sometimes like to point our toe and flex our toe and point our toe and release. Then we reach ourselves all the way down to one side. We reach up and over with our other hand almost like yoga, and we count to the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we sit up nice and tall, and then we switch our legs. And sometimes my friends like to think of it as making a big rainbow when we stretch up and over. So maybe this time we'll think of it as a rainbow. Let's point that toe and flex that toe and point that toe and release. Don't forget to keep those legs nice and straight. Reaching up and over and stretching. Big rainbows, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And sitting up nice and tall. This is the one where we bring our legs out nice and wide. This is called straddle position. So sometimes we like to rock our legs back and forth. Sometimes we like to point and flex and point our toes. But today I was thinking we would go all the way down and we would almost take a nap on our knee. So everybody take your hands and take a small little nap. It'll be very quick, about to the number nine. Here we go, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then wake up and we're going to rock those feet.
feet one more time. We'll point and flex a couple more times. And then we're gonna fall asleep on this knee. Everybody tuck up under. And here we go, counting to number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And wake up one more time. All right, this time we're gonna go all the way down through the middle. Now this one's a tricky one, so don't strain yourself too much. You're gonna take those fingers and wiggle them, and we're gonna wiggle them out until you feel your body cannot go any further. And if you can, you can put some elbows down on the ground, rest yourself up a little bit. I can go pretty far, but we'll stop here. And this is the one we like to count till the number 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we sit up and we relax those legs. Just give them a little shake, a little wiggle, and then crisscross applesauce. Now, if you're in a ballet class or a primary ballet or a primary creative movement or a pre-primary of either of those, we like to practice our arm positions. And that'll be coming up in the next video. Thank you.